I just finished watching the Salem's Lot on HBO Max and thought I would leave my opinion here to let you know what I thought of it. If you don't care about my opinion, keep scrolling. If you're interested in the new Salem's Lot, stick around. So I'm a huge fan of Salem's Lot, the novel. It's my favorite Stephen King book. I also really love the Toby Hooper directed 1970s made for TV Salem's Lot as well. Uh, I, I liked this version. Honestly, it's, it's a fun movie, but it does have some problems comparatively. Uh, so in the original, we get a lot of character development and I, I understand the time link, the time constraint as well. An hour and 54 minute movie versus a three and a half hour miniseries. Totally understand that. But nonetheless, we get a lot more character development that makes sense. So if you've read the book, if you've seen the original movie, Ben Mears comes home to Salem's Lot. He's researching a novel. He has a personal connection to the Marston house. Uh, that that he talks about in a great scene, you know, that's, that that really kind of helps involve you in his story. Uh, we we don't have that. Um, and FYI, this will be a spoiler free. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil the the new film for you. But this is we 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 lose that development. A lot of a lot of the personal history and backstory that we get in the film. The original film and in the book are removed for this. Um, but I will say we get a what may be my favorite portrayal of Barlow. Uh, if you've ever seen the Toby Hooper version, you know Barlow doesn't speak. If you've read the book, you know Barlow is very Dracula-ish. Uh, European gentleman speaks eloquently. Uh, this version, we still get the monstrous vampire we want, but he also speaks. Um, so I really enjoyed that. Uh, also, the portrayal of Father Callahan was great. Uh, Alfre Woodard, who plays the doctor in this, and yes, it is a race-swapped and gender-swapped role. Doesn't matter. She did fantastic in it. Um, so I don't want to hear any complaints about that. She's a fantastic actress, and honestly, neither of those things inform the character one way or the other. Uh, it's a great portrayal, and uh very uh, stylistically as a film, beautiful movie. Uh, the New Salem Slot has got a lot of great shots, a lot of uh, memorable shots, uh, good direction to the action. I like the way they portray the crosses, which are more aligned with the book uh, than what we saw in the original 70s film. Uh, but that being said, we don't get the character development that really hooks you into the characters as much. Um you don't, there's foreshadowing that is in the original film as well as the book about certain characters that you don't get in the new film so that when certain choices are made or certain skills pop up, you're like, oh, okay. I guess that's kind of foreshadowed, but we don't really see it in action. We don't, we don't get to, you know, uh, learn that really. But a lot of uh, good performances I completely, completely think the performances in this were, were well done, uh, well acted, well directed. Uh, the, the action was fun. Uh, some really good jump scares in this. Uh, but we, we miss out on a lot of that character development and story development that, make, that hooks you into the characters. Uh, and that is, that's not the fault of anyone. It's, you know, it's, the, it's their interpretation of the material. That's fine. It's still a really fun fun film uh i i still prefer the 70s made for tv toby hooper directed film starring david soul but that being said i think you should watch this one if you're a fan of of salem's lot at all uh you should totally check out this film on hbo max they also have the original made for tv toby hooper film uh so you can do your own comparison your own side by side if this were Creature Features, as you know, we have a arbitrary six bucket of popcorn scale. And I would give the New Salem's Lot three and a half to four. Uh, because like I said, you, you lose the, some of the personal hooks and interest without the character development that is present in the original film. Uh, and I would give the original film four and a half to five and a half, probably four and a half to five uh, buckets of popcorn. But this is still a solid three and a half to four. 
So definitely worth your time. Definitely worth checking out. Have you seen the new Salem's Lot on Max? Have you seen the original film uh, directed by Toby Hooper? If so, which one do you prefer?